going on, everyone? I'm your host, <laughs> Joe Mambu. Welcome to another episode of Let's Be Real. Uh, this is called... Co- Oh, yeah, sure, man. Introduce yourself. My well, bad. thank you for actually looking at me. I'm right here. I'm, I'm the sorry. darkest guy in the room, okay? It's all right. Come on. It's all right. This is your boy, Big Sherm. I'm Take a, it easy over there. I'm a dog, nigga. Yeah, I am who Darkness I am. Is spreading. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. This, is called, this episode is called episode 86, and it is, is Giannis the New King. Uh, if you must know, t- uh, the Lakers and the Bucks played each other Thursday night. And they both had the best records of 24 and 4 in their respective conferences. And they played against each other. And um, there was something that interesting happened during that game um, that I I believe Giannis put a crown on his head. Uh, if you must know, Giannis hit five threes, his career high in that, in that five. game. Five threes. He was actually... Four. Over LeBron. No, I'm just playing. Not, Not over LeBron. LeBron. Oh, some over AD, but... Um, he was five for eight, which is really, really good. No, that's, it's that's, it's scary, and um, you that's know, scary, bro. One of the knocks it w- was on Giannis is that um, he couldn't shoot. He couldn't shoot. So these are threes. These are not mid range. I would like to see more of his mid range, so he could become kind of like a Kawhi Leonard esque type of threat. Mm-hmm. Um, but he's knocking down threes, and he's knocking a, he's knocking down about forty five percent. Of his threes for December. Oh, I'm about to say what? Uh, last Ooh. year he was about 23 percent for October and November. He was 39 percent. That's without looking at the at the laptop. You know what I'm saying? Thinking, my man. Thinking. But Giannis is doing pretty well. Um, we're not only talking about Giannis. <coughs> we're actually not going to talk about Giannis first. We're going to talk about the NBA Hall of Fame and the nominees and some of the candidates that has been announced. Uh, I know, Sherman, you wanted to talk about a little bit about if Chris Bosh or not, even though he would be a nominee, is he worthy of being first ballot? Let me tell you something. Yeah. I When I first wrote it in on the LBR blog on Let's Be Re- LBR blog on mm-hmm. Facebook.com. Yeah. Check it out, please. Facebook.com. Okay. Thank so you. You can just say Facebook. My, my bad. <laughs> no, hey, no. listen, that's what that's what we on. I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> okay, Grandpa. Uh, <laughs> hey, wh- hey, whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my fun's coming next. My fun, my fun's coming. Don't worry, miss. We're gonna get to it. My fun coming. All right, so tell me what you, um what, tell me what they can see on Facebook.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm never gonna hear the end I'm of this joking, now. I'm joking. But um, on fa- um, um, <laughs> yeah, y'all got me flustered now, man. Damn, I hate oh, you, people. Man, I'm jo- okay, I'm sorry. No, no, no. Ahead, but um, ahead. people on Facebook were saying that Chris Bosh was not really a Hall of Famer. Okay. And they were going back and forth. Like some say yes, mm-hmm. some say no. Mm-hmm. And the first thing I thought about was, well, Trace McGrady made the Hall of Fame, and he only averaged 19 points a game. <sighs> I feel like Trace McGrady made the Hall of Fame. For Why? The, the, 11 points in 34 seconds So, however I you really think that's why he got I mean, in i'm not saying I'm, I'm a little bit of an exaggeration tracy mcgrady was a, a great player so my thing is and i don't want to take away from what you're going to say of course, tracy of course. mcgrady has been a great player and the potential I, I feel like he got into the hall of fame more of his potential of what he could have been if he was healthy like the the numbers that he would have obtain if he was healthy because he was a prolific scorer oh hell yeah you know he was very oh, hell prolific yeah. scorer one of the best scorers of all time but injuries just cut it short you know uh but go ahead I don't but my to... thing is chris Bosch was, was was very good in toronto he was the guy he was you know after, and it's after mcgrady left there was a few years toronto wasn't good and then chris Bosch came along from georgia tech yep came in and he was supposed to be their future mm-hmm. he was to be he was supposed to be their Kawhi, basically in a sense, I don't know that. No, no, I mean, I mean, even before Kawhi was Kawhi, you feel me? Mm-hmm. Like he was supposed to be the next guy. He was six ten. He's been man up. Yeah, he was supposed to be the 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 Vince Carter, not the Vince Carter, but he was supposed to, you know, kind of take that mantle right. And, yeah. That was the Vince and Tracy McGrady show at that point in Toronto. Yeah. Then, damn, damn. Uh, oh man, producer man, you ain't like what I was I saying. I thought I was the only one drinking Jim Beam. <laughs> drinking Jim Beam? <laughs> oh damn. <laughs> Go ahead, go well, ahead, go I, ahead. Blame down here. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Continue, Freaking sir. gin. That nasty crap. It's delicious. It's this crap. Good. You need to have this. I'm going to go buy a bottle after this episode. I know you are. <laughs> oh, I know you are. No work till February? Oh, listen, that's the one of the best Oh, you're things. living the dream right now. One of the best things. I'm going to London ne- next Sunday. Well, this Sunday. Nice. I'm, nice. I'm excited, but go ahead. I'm, oh, I'm taking away we, from your... Don't, don't worry. I'm sorry. We got you. But... 
I think Chris Bosh, to me, mm-hmm. once he went to Miami, a lot of people feel like even if he was to go to the Hall of Fame, he'd be discredited because at that time, the 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 anger people had with LeBron Jordan forces with D Wade and LeBron. Wait, oh, and, okay. And I thought you said LeBron Jordan. Nah. Okay, Are you drunk already? I'm okay. Come on, buddy. <laughs> take it easy over go there. Ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. But um, mm-hmm. I, f- I feel like after he, Bosch did that, yeah, they, it, it like diminished him. It did. But I, it shouldn't diminish him. Because he went, they still had like I keep saying with, with with um, with KD. Yeah, he still had to complete the deal. He still had to win the championship before we could even say anything. I mean, I don't don't you start your shit. Don't start your shit. This is not what it's about today. Don't start your shit. I hear you, but this is not not the time. Okay, thank you. I hear you, but <clears throat> thank you, <laughs> thank you. This is not the time, but like. Once he got to Miami, we already know he's going to be the third fiddle. But yeah, in that, when he got to the finals, he showed up. He did, yeah, yeah. He was very clutch the, the, in those moments in the playoffs. In OKC, I think it was in Game One or Game Two. Mm-hmm. He hit the game winning shot. Yeah, to yeah, help, that's right. Yes, the, yes. To I help prope- that. to help propel them. I do remember to, to that. win the championship. Yeah. In the, I think in yeah. five or six. Yeah. Then the following year with San Antonio. He got the key rebound that got Ray Allen the shot. Yeah. That forced overtime and forced everything to happen. Yeah. And forced a game seven, yeah. in a sense. And they went on to win the championship. So Chris Bosch is very much a part of NBA lore, whether you like it or not. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think so. I mean. And every, well, with, and with everything he's done, yeah. to me, I think he should be in the Hall of Fame. Okay. Not first ballot. Not like, because in the 2020 class you have, the headliners, Kobe Bryant, yeah. KG, Tim Duncan, the greatest power forward of our generation. Tim Duncan, right? Yes. I agree. I agree. Well, uh, would you consider him a center, too? No. He played a lot of center the, Did in you the not hear what I just said? I'm just saying. The greatest power forward of our generation. You missed their fundamental. Exactly. And that they hated him for it. Just like they hate Kawhi because he wears New Balance. I don't hate. I, they hate Kawhi because he wears New Balance. Gotta, Let's face it. That's, a, that's why they hate Kawhi. I got a story. They know his game is good. I got a story about that. So go ahead. The other day, I'm going to the gym, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm 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 in the process of moving, so I'm trying to like organize stuff that I have. Mm-hmm. So I put like my gym bag in the car. Okay. I leave my sneakers. Uh, I leave my sneakers at, at the house. Okay. So near the gym, there's like a New Balance store, and I'm like, "Yo, this is my chance to get some Kawhis, right?" Like, I'm I'm excited because I actually went to Toronto, won the championship. I actually went on NewBalance.com to buy some. You but, was feeling that fast? But, no, I'm just saying, like they fly. Like you, you, you. Listen, the sneakers look good. Kawhi right. was over there cooking Golden State in a pair of Omni ones or whatever the fuck. <laughs> <New Balance>. <laughs> 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 You know why, why you gotta go there, whatever, for, bro? Whatever Kawhi why you calls gotta go them, there, right? bro? Why whatever, you gotta go there? Whatever New Balance calls, all right? <laughs> Yo, you was a <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> like, whatever you know, Kawhi calls him, and and, and, and so I, I look and I go to the store and I talk to the guys. Like, yo, you guys got any Kawhis? And he was like, nah, we got these. So they don't even say basketball sneakers. Like, on the tag, it just says sports. Mm-hmm. And it was New Balance basketball sneakers. But um, I don't know what the story was about, but I, I wasn't able to find Kawhi's. That's basically what I was saying, even though I wanted you to You wasted a freaking two, three goddamn minutes. It wasn't minutes. three minutes, man. It was two minutes. I was two minutes clock, on that man. bullshit? All right, go ahead. We'll continue. Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh, you, you, you starting to get drunk over there. Just like Madden, we're friends all over again. Which you lost. Remember that. Go to hell. Remember that. Go to hell. But go ahead. You want to play me again? Yeah. We'll set it up again. I don't even play no more. I don't even care. All I right. want my fucking rematch. All right. But go ahead. And check that out, too, on the uh, LBRS blog. That's... And no, 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 it's not on the blog. Yeah, on the actual YouTube page. It is there. Oh, yeah, okay. It is there still. Mm-hmm. Bad and with friends. Check it out. I got drunk and nearly threw up. I watched it. <laughs> I watched it tonight. But go ahead. Okay. But, uh, but. Back to what I was saying. Mm-hmm. I think Chris Bosh should be in the hall. Mm-hmm. But not first ballot. Not first ballot. Okay. He should be in the hall. <clears throat> so my thing is I looked 
online to see what the criteria was for basketball players to being, I guess, nominated or enshrined in the Hall of Fame. And right. There wasn't much information on it. Mm-hmm. It basically was kind of just saying, hey, you had to be retired for four years. Four or five years. Yeah, so your fifth year made you eligible. Right, okay. Um, And that was pretty much it. So I know... I know you talk about a lot off the air about Kevin McHale. Mm-hmm. And you say if Kevin can, Kevin McHale can make it, anybody can make it. He was it. a six man yeah. who made it into the hall. Yeah. So, so so if he can make it into the hall, why can't Chris Bosh make it into the hall? Yeah. He had a pretty decent career. But the question is more so about the first ballot. No, he's not so first ballot. Kevin, so that's the thing. I don't know. Did Kevin McHale make it first ballot? That, that I don't know. Okay. That I don't know. I don't go that because he was he went in the Hall of Fame many 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 years ago when I was a little kid. I mean, maybe yeah. how I wasn't born any no, no a little yeah, kid. He was yeah, that was yeah, a little yeah, after yeah. yeah. So go ahead. I'm, no no. Go, go. Oh okay. So with that with that uh, being said about Chris Bosh being the first ballot Hall of Famer, who are some guys that you know the obvious? Yeah, but you like I said, Garnett, Kobe, Duncan mm-hmm. are locks. Okay. They'll get in right away. Yeah. You know, Bosch, maybe. And you also have um two women. Yeah, Swing Cash and I forget. Hold on. I'll let you know right now. Tamika Catchings. Tamika Catchings. Yes, yes. So they're, they're kind of leading the class. So I'll let you know right now. You got... You got... Um, yeah, so Sean Marion... Chris wow, Bosch. Wow, the Matrix. Yeah, the Matrix. Michael Finley. Woo, woo. Ke- Kevin Garnett. Tim Duncan. Kobe wow. Bryant. Wow. Michael Tamika, Finley. Tamika Catchings and Swing Cash. Those are like the, the candidates that you feel are going to be the first ballot. They're gonna, I don't think Michael Finley's going to be first ballot. Maybe not Michael I used to love Yo, Michael he, Finley, bro. He was a sniper, a killer, bro. I used bro. to love Michael On Finley. On Dallas with yes. Steve Nash. Ma- and Dirk, and with Young Dirk. Yo, that was the real big. That was a big three right there. Was, up and coming, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. I, I used to like that squad, but um, play him in two K a lot. <laughs> oh, <did. laughs> listen, Michael Finley was good in two K. No, he no, and on on a real back. Yo, he was nasty. Yeah, he was son. nice. He was nice. He was nasty. Nice. He was nice. Step. He didn't have a step. Everything. He he was more like he was just straight up. He was just gun. He was just he gunning. A gamer. He a gamer. He was just yeah. gunning like yeah. from gate. Yeah, just hitting threes, and then we got with got with Nash. Yeah, and the passing his shot even got even more easier for him. Yeah, it was it was a beautiful it was beautiful to watch Michael Finley play basketball. Yeah, yes, it was. So I mean, <sighs> oh Steve Smith is wait S- Smith why Smith mm. I don't know Steve Smith is part of this list of eligible candidates as well. Ooh, I don't think Steve's not gonna get it right away. Yeah. No, I know. I mean, listen. You gonna get it right? No, 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 right, right. We know list, that. We understand. There's a list of 215 players, so I'm going through that list. Wow. Right now, the ranking is. I'll give you the rankings of the candidates. Okay. Tim Duncan, number one. Of course. Kevin Garnett, number. Kevin Garnett, number two. Kobe. Kobe's not number one. That, which well, is crazy like to I me. said, the Tim greatest. Tim Duncan had the better career than Kobe Bryant. Yes. So I under- and he beat yeah. him up. And he beat him too. All right, let's not talk about that because Kobe's. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Oh, there's more coming. Yeah, there's more. There's more coming, Laker fans. There's more coming. <laughs> Keep watching the show. Spurs, there's the more. Spurs, there's man. more Laker. There's more Laker talk coming. <laughs> Thank you, Tim Duncan. You're a credit to America. So Kobe's number three. Sean Marion's at number four. Chauncey Billups at number five. Chauncey gets in, and Ben Wallace better get in too. Buck Williams. When they when he need, but Ben Wallace need to be in. Yes, he, he. You don't think Ben Wallace no, to be? Listen, I, listen, I'm not. Yo, Joe, don't play, bro. I'm not disagreeing with you, Joe. Don't dis- play, ben bro. Ben Wallace does what? Four time defensive player of the year. Come on, son. One time NBA champion. Come and, on. And he and he what, beat what, and he beat he sat, he sat he sat there and beat the Lakers, the unstoppable yeah, Lakers with old listen, man Malone over there. Listen, listen. Trying to chase a ring. <sighs> I hate when people chase rings like. Kevin Durant, okay. Go oh, fuck, <laughs> fuck you. You, you, like you got me getting crazy you talk now. Talk about the ultimate ring chaser. That nigga is in his prime. I told <laughs> you they called him. They called him. And he was like, "Yo, you know I want to be here because I'm chasing shit. No, nah, I, I, I want to be the guy. I want to win a ring. I can't play with Russell. I couldn't play with Russell. James Harden can." Yeah, yeah, they're gonna, they gonna lose too. They're oh, gonna lose too. Don't worry. They're gonna lose too. To me, Kevin Durant has no rings, okay? He has he has two. 
has zero rings. rings. He has two. He has two prostitute rings. That's this. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Yeah. He has zero NBA rings. <laughs> Where's the Godfather when you need him? <laughs> but uh, Jeez. okay, oh, okay. That ain't no truth. But um, so I'm gonna give you top ten mm -hmm. for ranking. Uh, we use that Chauncey Billups number five. Mm -hmm. Buck Williams, number six. Seven is Horace Grant. Eight, Terry Yo, Porter. Yo, Horace is not in? Nope. Larry Ooh. Nance. He, Larry, he's definitely, because Horace Grant definitely not first ballot. <laughs> he's not first ballot. Of course, he's not first <laughs> yeah. ballot. I'm just saying in general. Yeah. Larry Nance, number nine. Elton Brand, number 10. Oh, wow. And then on the, Chris Bosch is number 14. 15, Lambert. I'm just giving you the right, big right. names that people will know listening to the podcast. Eddie Jones at 19. Mr. Virgin himself, A.C. Green hey! at 20. Legend. Rasheed Wallace at 17. She need to be in. At, she put in work. At 16 is Perkins. 21 is actually Ben Wallace. In the That's ranking. a disrespect. He should be in there. Rasheed Wallace should be in there. That whole Pistons team should be in there because they was not even Rip picked. Hamilton. I don't see him. He need there. to be in there, too. Put all of them in there. Listen, you, you you're probably right. Put that all was, of them that, in listen, there. Listen, that was a good 2004 Pistons team, and they beat a team they wasn't supposed to beat because yeah, they, they yeah they was and you know they why? why? Because they put the Jordan rules, the the carbon copy Jordan rules on Kobe, wow. and locked them down Yo, for Kobe, five games. Kobe was a better shot making than Jordan, so I understand that, but he too got caught in the Jordan no, rules by listen, the Pistons. Look, I mean, that was it. Listen, Ben Wallace just did a hell of a job. I've never seen anybody dominate Shaq the way. No, no, whoa, 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 whoa. He didn't dominate Shaq, but he, he held it. Nah, he, he held his own. Listen. Shaq is still average 30 something, you know. I hear you, but Shaq looked like a baby down there. <laughs> Shaq looked like a baby down there. You know what I'm saying? So this is what I'm saying. Let's all right, let's go. But let's go segue to something else, right? I know that was hard as fuck, right? It was like cutting with like a like a machine. Listen, I mean, we know. We'll but we're making it through. But I, I I'm gonna be very hyped for this one now. Yeah, so <clears throat> Pay attention, oh miss. Pay attention. As we all know. Pay attention. This episode is called, Is Giannis the New King? No! <laughs> Silence! <laughs> so, LeBron James, as we all know, has been the guy. I'm not going to give him the Kobe year, so I'm going to say since Kobe won his last championship. LeBron, <laughs> LeBron's been the guy for nine years, right? Mm -hmm. For nine, ten years. Right. He's put he's he's remarkable again this year, right? After averaging his his usual averages, which are crazy, but he's he's averaging ten point six assists this season. Just getting the ball to everyone, being the superstar that LeBron James is. And I love LeBron James now. You know why? Because he's wearing the purple and gold armor. So once you put on the purple and gold armor with the greats of Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant, Shaquille O'Neal, and all that. Listen, you, 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 you he get my Laker. back. You get my back. He, he, he not a Laker he great. No, he, he not no a Laker, Laker great. great because he ain't got no titles yet. But he gonna have, look. Listen, in, in, in order for LeBron to be a Laker great, I'm gonna tell you this right now. Anthony Davis can't win Finals MVP. I'm gonna let you what, know. What? That. He can't win. And he can't. For LeBron to be a Laker great. I get it because he's not going to be there, right? No, no, no. He's going to be hurt again, right? No, no, no. He's going to be there. He's going to be hurt. LeBron no, he's going to be hurt. LeBron got a year off. He's going to be hurt, right? That's he, he, he hurt now. He hurt now. It's mad. Wow, my ass. He it's, hurt it's, now, right? It's it's load management, B. It's load management, right? Oh, yeah. No, now y'all want load management, huh? Because that's now what LeBron it's load does. management. He, that's what he does. You know, they did it clean. Load right? management. Are you, it will poo poo and load management. Listen. Talking bad about Kawhi. Now you want load management? No, fuck no, you, nigga. Get your ass yeah, out there and yeah, play you that right, game. You're right. You're right. You're right. Get Let's your say, ass you out right, there. you right. You say you healthy and shit. Get your ass out there and play. Let's go. You want to poo poo people talking about low magic? No, oh, we going to get out there and play. If I'm healthy, I'm going to go and play. No, get your ass out there and go play. You're right. You're definitely right about that. You want to talk about that bullshit? Go ahead, man. So there was a Thursday night game that happened that was a primetime game between the Bucks and the Los Angeles Lakers, right? And, you know, a lot of the analysts had picked the Bucks to lose, if, especially if Anthony Davis was playing. I want to let you know, Giannis scored his 30, 14 of his 37 points on. Anthony Davis, <laughs> right? <laughs> Hit five threes within the game. I think he finished with something 37, 11, and four, or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. In that game. He had five threes, had 30, Le and 30, and, uh, 30 and 15, I think, 30 and 10, somewhere around there. Yes. Yeah, it was, I was think it was 37 and 11, okay. or 34 and 11. 
And uh, LeBron averaged a triple-double. But there was something that Giannis did within the game where I felt like he was like, yo, it's, it's on me now, right? He's okay. already... He already won MVP last mm-hmm. season, right? And as he hit a three over Anthony Davis, right? He then proceeded down the court to put what I believe to be a make a make believe crown over his head, right? And he said, "I wear this shit now," or something like that. Like I think they they read it. I'm the captain now. That's he, what he's saying. I'm the <laughs> captain now. Yeah, he, it was something like he said, like, I guess they read his lips. And he mm-hmm. said, I wear this shit now. That's right. You know what I'm he's saying? A, and as they say, everybody say he's a killer. He's a killer. He out there ready at any moment in time. Giannis will give you 110%. Oh, yeah. He's like Westbrook, but just eight inches taller. And with his intensity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he gets his players and gets his teammates involved in the game. Yeah. Now, let me... I'm sorry to cut you off there. Go ahead. No, no. But no. I watched this game. The Bucks were beating these guys by 25. They were? Yeah. yeah they, they were 25. Demolishing. They were demolishing the Lakers. Whipping their asses. Whipping them. And then in the throes of the game, when we talk about coaching, yeah. for some reason, and I still have not gotten the answer about this, why the hell was Alex Caruso guarding Giannis? Who? You heard me. Alex, Alex Caruso. Caruso. Why was he guarding Giannis? You mean to tell me that's your if this t- LeBron because LeBron ain't doing. You know LeBron no guard the best players anymore. Well, he, he you the- can't not have Alex Caruso. That's barbecue chicken, as Shaq would say. It's barbecue chicken. It is. It is. That's on. Un- you can't have that, bro. It, it very much. And is. that's Frank Vogel's coaching plan. Now maybe AD was in foul trouble. Okay, but come on, you. And LeBron probably was it. He got in foul trouble eventually, but come on. Alex Caruso guarding, and every time he got the ball, Giannis did the right thing. Put him in the post. Put yeah, him in the post. Not? Put the pressure on him, and then kick out to the three-point shooters. And it's a fluid offense with Milwaukee. Yeah. And now Giannis is shooting three-pointers at a rate I couldn't even believe. Like, right now he's... he's five for eight. Five dude. for eight. It's crazy. And he, and he has Kyle Corver with him, too. Who's been in the league? Lottie is who probably is teaching this man how to shoot now. Kyle, yeah, he's been in there since Iverson, bro. He, no, he really yeah, has. Yeah, yeah. He's been in there since Iverson. Yeah. I want to learn from him. Shoot, he helped teach me. He should put a few million dollars in my goddamn pocket. Shit. Listen, I hear you. You know, but then I look at the other side with the Lakers, and I can keep telling Q. I keep telling Q. What? It's it's the same fucking offense. Fight, get the ball to LeBron. Dribble, 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 dribble. Five seconds left. You kick out the two three point shooter and hope everything happens. All right, go to AD. Dribble, dribble, dribble in the post. He turns around for his little fadeaway, yeah. or he kicks out with five seconds left. This cannot work. Not, I, not, not, not this time. I, I don't know. Not I, this time. I look at it like this. Not this time. It can't work. Is yeah. So there was. Is so the thing is, has Giannis taken the crown from LeBron? No, I think he not has. Not yet. Right? Not yet. Mm-mm. I'm gonna tell you why. Because Giannis is the most dominant player, right? Right. In the league, mm-hmm. he's the mo- he's been he's been the most dominant player for in two the three years now. For two three years, I'm gonna give two more so okay. than three. Okay. LeBron James to me is still the best player because. He affects the game a different way, where LeBron will elevate his teammates, right? Mm-hmm. He's getting his highest assists ever in his career because he knows that now he has to dial it back, and he has a stud in Anthony Davis. Who's falling apart as we speak, as we watch now. First it was his shoulder, now it's his damn ankle. He ain't going to make it, and when he don't make it, it's going to be Cleveland East all over again. Cleveland West? Cleveland West, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. I was thinking about I was Cleveland. Like, yeah, no, I felt you. You was thinking Lakers East. You know what I mean. I know what you mean. But, like, it's the same shit. Yeah. So now he, And now the coaching, to me, is going to be, trust me, somewhere down the line. Frank Vogel was going to get fired. I don't want him they to get fired. Get fired for what? They're 25 and 4. 25 and 4. What are you firing I, I, listen, this guy for? I, listen, the Miami Heat, when um, Stan Van Gundy was there, he yeah. got fired. Did he not? 
and Pat Riley came back in. What was that record though? They were they were in the they were in the what was that they were, record though they were in that's, the that's they were in the no they were in the playoff chase they were there okay there's a difference between being in the playoff chase and being the, having the number one seed in the West it don't, listen we already know they're gonna get the number one seed that's 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 a foregone so conclusion this is, this is my, that's a foregone conclusion this is my thing LeBron is 35 years old he's in his 17th year in the league right mm -hmm. somebody eventually has to take the crown from him and Giannis been the most dominant player for two years I think Giannis. Because the way he affects a game has taken the crown from LeBron. No, not, not necessarily yet. saying now that Giannis is going to win a championship because that's, it's a that's, team game. That's but that completes I, the deal. LeBron has more weapons. We got to remember Ka what, more weapons. Yeah, he has Anthony Davis, and then he got a guy, another guy. If you say fucking Kyle Kuzma, so why not? Oh my! Why not? Why not Kuzma? Why not Kuzma? No, not Kyle Kuzma. Who's Kyle Kuzma? Why? Because he dyed his hair blonde? I don't know why he dyed his hair blonde, though. Listen. He's young. He's yeah, young. yeah. Millennials. I know. No, we millennials. They they like something. Gen Z. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, come on, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> that's, that's, that's Listen. Okay yeah. Yo, KCP right. had 18 KC that Poop. game. Danny Green wow. had 21. That's the only viable play you got over there. You got Kyle Kuzma once he come back, bro. Yo, who? I don't what what's with this? Why what's so special about this guy? He ain't Brandon Ingram though, who been wild. Yo, in New you Orleans. no, he been he been I balling. I love Brandon Ingram. He, he finally got to show everything. Of course, because he's not that. Yo. LeBron stops everything. You, you're not Le gonna get the ball if LeBron is there. You know that. LeBron has that spirit pressure. No, he, he has that pressure. To spirit to, pressure. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Which he just supplies. You know how, like, how in Dragon Ball Z, you can sense people, like, power levels? Like, when LeBron, when he steps in Staples Center, like, the other basketball players, they just sense his power level. And they're like, yo, we... They, they all turn into Krillins. they like, yo, we can't... Oh, my God. We, we need you, Goku. <laughs> yo, we done turned into Dragon Ball Z in this bitch. You know what Son saying? of a bitch. LeBron is Goku. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, is that... Giannis is great. Giannis is dominant. The reason why I would give Giannis the crown over I'm LeBron not giving the crown yet. It's because... There's steps. What steps? You got to win the championship now. Uh, that's the step. LeBron but that's, that, got, that's a step. Son, that, that's the same thing we said about LeBron. He had to win son, the championship we're first. we talking about best player right now. Has he taken the crown right now? Uh, LeBron got a triple double. He got 21. Uh, he got 21, 12, and 11. I don't right? know, man. I, for me, I, I'm from the... I, Listen, I guess the LeBron story. having a great season, but I'm, also I'm, Luka Doncic is right. too. Right. He, he, of course, of course. Right, and Luka Don't forget Don Luka. Numbers, yeah, his numbers is crazy. No, he, he's... In, with, once he come back, he'll, be, he'll get back in the MVP swing. He'll yeah. be fine. Listen. But for me, yeah, for me... I just go with the old school. You got the MVP. You've elevated your game. Yeah. The last thing is a championship, and he was right there. He, he, was, was, he was right there. But then Kawhi happened. The yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. The one. Oh. Ah! Get up and get out if you don't like the I one. Get out. <laughs> so my so my, my my thing is with that all being said, mm -hmm. even though Giannis put the crown on his head during the game, what it seemed to what it seemed like he was doing. He was sick After the game, he was just real humble. Of course. And he always humble. And, and that's the thing I love about Giannis, right? LeBron doesn't do it so much in post games. Uh, he, you know, he's always kind of put the focus on him and, and, you know, about what he needs to do as a leader. I don't think being a leader, you need to talk about every time that no. you need to lead the team. No. It's obviously something he does on the court, but he talks about it as well. He's like the, the social media generation. Look at me. Right. <laughs> what I love about Giannis, he 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 talk, he's more of the old school and he's very guys, old school. These guys favor from not having social media. So maybe Jordan would have been like, look at me, too. You know what I'm saying? Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. But I'm pretty sure some players in that generation. Oh, oh hell yeah. Probably Rodman. Social media was built. Yeah. Rodman would have yeah, been yeah. in it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Shit. My thing is when I Giannis said after the game, what I love so much about Giannis was what it's like. He acknowledged that Anthony Davis and both LeBron was number one picks, right? Mm -hmm. And that he was just glad to be here. Of and course. that he just wants to elevate his game and keep getting better for the Milwaukee Bucks. Now, he's saying right, all the right PR stuff, and I think it's amazing. But that's one of the things why I love about Giannis, and that's why I give him the crown. Because it's not just about his off his on-court stuff. It's off, also his off-court stuff. Until they start talking about free agency. And trades with I, this man. I hear you, but you even got to look at it like this: He lost arguably his second best player, or third best player, Brogdon, and Brogdon. 
He didn't complain. He didn't Mm-mm. say anything. He just kept pushing his business as usual. That's right. While LeBron James all last season was trying to trade everybody in, in uh, on the roster and in the concession stands for Anthony Davis. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, I like Giannis. I, I give Giannis the crown because he's the most dominant player. LeBron still has a lot to prove, especially after his last season. And I, I just don't know. I'm going by what I saw through the season through the seasons past. Yeah. LeBron had the crown first. You giving to, it over career uh, over right now. I'm talking about right now. That's all I'm oh, saying. Oh, okay. That's all I'm saying. Right. Giannis right now has got the crown. I I I, I can't say it. you got to get that championship. If yeah. he gets that championship, I can say, hey, but brother, you got it. Okay. This is yours I now. Feel, I feel you ain't nothing wrong with that. And I'm, po- I'm old school with postseason it. Postseason is what matters. Yeah, so exactly. Right. I hear you. I hear you. And, and Gian- like I said, Giannis was right there. He was two games away from realizing yeah, the dream. Yeah, yeah. Or not the dream, at least getting to where he wanted to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I believe he can get there this year, although it will cost me $40 because I have <laughs> Sixers. But what I saw what I saw Thursday, like, yo, yeah. if he got a three-point shot, and then like you said, uh, we was talking earlier, yeah. if he get that mid-range game, Ain't nobody stopping him. Ain't nobody stopping him. Ain't nobody going to stop him. All right, guys. I want to thank you guys for tuning in another episode. Thank you for struggling with us. You know what I'm saying? If you got any questions or comments, make sure to hit us up at our Gmail. But you're here with us. LBRSTalk at gmail.com. Even if you want to suggest episode topics or, you know, something you caught during this uh, live stream that you want to discuss, we could talk about it in a later episode. I like Alex Caruso. Oh, he's good. (laughs) I like like his game. Um. if you want, make sure to check out... Uh, Codwell Poop. <laughs> make sure to check out our Facebook page at Let's Be Real uh, Sportscast, the blog. Uh, Sherm, Big Sherm and Q do amazing work on that. You can always All find... All things fall apart, Anthony Davis. <laughs> you can always find dope content in between episodes. Uh, make sure to, co- uh, you know, comment on that as well, and we could discuss... And the Fallen King. That. Um and yeah, you, I said it. Cue the Fallen you, King. You can catch up on YouTube at Let's Be Real Sports. Make sure to check us also at iTunes and Google Play at Let's Be Real. Frank Rogan will be fired. Jason Kidd's coming in. All right, so I want to thank you guys again, and that's another episode in the bag. Peace. Peace.